And how about, um... Ever been asked a question? In ancient Egypt, they had like a sacred beetle. Do you know the name of that? Where you know the answer, oh. but you can't quite get it out. You're going to say it, I'm going to punch myself. McMaster University cognitive psychologist Karen Humphreys studies this tip of the tongue phenomenon. She's now found that when you get stuck, um, oh, uh, um, you're better off just giving up. You're spinning your tires in the snow. You're just digging yourself in deeper. She and her colleagues showed volunteers questions which they either knew, didn't know, or had on the <laughs> tip of their tongue. It starts with an M. For those, people had either 10 or 30 seconds to struggle for the word before being shown the answer. Metronome. <laughs> Two days later, the researchers tested everybody again. The longer they stayed in that tip of the tongue state on the first day, the more likely they were to get into a tip of the tongue state on that word on the second day. So they've just done all that much extra learning of that errorful state. And so they're more likely to get into that hole again the next time. Humphrey says that's important for students who may be better off looking up an answer rather than struggling for it while studying. And as far as that Egyptian bug... Oh, uh, scarab. Uh, the scarab. Scarab. You got it, yeah. Scarab. Okay. I'm Brad Closa.